Hello Sagittarius, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate when you do. And for crosswashers, you know you're always welcome. I am your Saggy sister. It is in my rising, so I literally have your energy. And uh, here we are, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter for the week ahead. So we're looking into the last day of July and going into August. Can you believe it? August already, Sag. Here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Here you are. All right, those two aren't going in. What do we got here? Hooey. All right. There we go. Not waiting anymore. I'm not waiting anymore and I'm not feeling regretful about it. We start out here with something that is is uh, changing here. There's big change here for you, Sag. Um, I feel as though you've made the decision to move forward and do something. You're taking action on something, and the action that you're taking is, I feel, um, connected to the heart space. And I feel it's something that you've been feeling either, I don't know, guilty about or feeling bad about or feeling regretful about. And you were stuck in your in your energy here. I feel you were stuck in the Two of Swords energy, but now the Two of Swords is in the reverse, which tells me that you're ready to open up, ready to talk about it, ready to um, move forward in this uh, situation or this relationship, whatever it is for you. It could be a job. I feel it was a decision that was hard for you to make, and so the universe threw you a tower. So you may be sort of um, still feeling the rumblings of the tower. Um, it could be emotional, physical, it could be a loss of material things, but usually when the tower comes, it's because you've been stagnant in your energy for too long and not making the decisions that you, um, that you want to make or promise to make before you came here when you signed that, um, that life contract. So the universe throws you a tower and says, look, it's time for you to take to take action here. The three of wands is in the reverse. And when it's in the upright, it's more about waiting with your toes off the edge, kind of waiting to go. When is the right time? I'm not really sure. But for me, when it shows up in the reverse, it's like I'm getting up and taking action. I'm going out to meet those, those um, ships. I'm not waiting for the ships to come in anymore. I am going out and finding out what I need to do. It's time for me to get up and take action. The five of cups, of course, when it's in the upright is all about um, regret feeling bad about things in the past. I feel it's like you're you're in this no regrets attitude. You know what? I've just got to take care of it. I've made the decision that I've just got to take care of whatever this is. All right. We are going to clarify that tower, but we're going to read a little bit. In the very near fu future, we have uh, something that you that you love, something that you love or someone that you love, a brand new beginning in love. It could be um, a cycle that closed and now you want to reopen the cycle um, because tens are actually aces, right? So the ten of cups could have come to an end, the happiness could have ended, and now you just want that back. Or, you know, it could be that you want it back or you're looking at someone brand new this could be a brand new person waiting in the future and understand when I say brand new it could be someone who's had an enlightenment it could be the same old person with an enlightenment and they feel brand new or it can be an actual brand new meat suit person right two of uh, pentacles tells me that um, you were um, thrown off balance that you were uh, feeling badly not be like not feeling enough um, and then the universe kind of picked you up and, and, and threw you into the future. It's time for you to move, I think. The universe is here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune under the deck in the near future. Things are going to be moving in a fortunate way for you, Sagittarius. Um, but first, the Tower, right? Some of you may have already gotten through the Tower, experienced it and gotten through it. But it could be some of you that are still um, on a different timeline and haven't yet, uh, haven't yet felt the full impact of the tower however you were living whatever you were thinking whatever situation you had created in your mind or in your life that is not on your path the universe is, has come to remove that and said it's time for you to take action here
We've got Temperance. There you are, Sag. You show up right next to the tower. It's your tower. I feel like you were leaning up against it, holding up, holding it up. It, it, Charlie is showing me someone who has kind of got their back and their hands up against up against a wall, trying to keep it from falling. It's. I feel like you have, you have. You want this balance, but you wouldn't bring this balance yourself. And so the universe threw you a tower, so you would bring this balance. Um, and healing, I feel like there is healing in, in the getting up and moving forward. The Knight of Wands is here, which is happiness. It's fun times. It's um, passionate times, things that you are passionate about. This could be a person, place, or thing. Absolutely. It doesn't have to do with love at this point. I don't see it. I do see a major change in your attitude or a decision you've made or um, you've decided um, through some trials that it is time for you to get back to being Sag, to uh, get back to being balanced, enjoying life, being happy again, right? Like I said, we said we saw that Ace of Cups under the deck, which is to me the future, the very near future. And I feel as though it was the Ten of Cups that came to an end and um, something new is about to begin or begin again. Um, it feels like it feels like it was hard for you to make the decision to either. It feels like forgiveness to me. The Ten of Swords always to me feels like forgiveness. Maybe it was um communication or a connection that was tough or hard for you or someone said something that offended you or you offended them i feel as though you want to talk about that i feel like um things were going fine until something happened something happened that um i feel yeah i feel it was tough words or a tough decision you had to make hmm Just listening. The devil, of course, is Capricorn. The tower is Scorpio. Temperance is you, Sagittarius. It feels stubborn, is what it feels like. Yep. It feels like... You can't play me for a puppet. Who do you think you are? It feels like uh, it was a toxic connection, possibly. Or something that you were afraid was going to happen. Something that is... Something that's an attachment. Wow. All oh, the major arcana are showing up. Okay, so this is major change, right? Because the tower is kind of rumbling through here, making all this major change. So we have Capricorn, we have Pisces, we have um, um, Aquarius, and we have the Knight of Swords, the inaction. I feel as though, I feel as though you want to heal it, but. Yeah, it feels like you're stubborn. It feels like, I want to heal it, but that person has to admit that they were wrong first. And when that person admits that they were wrong, then we can heal it. But otherwise, we're not going to heal it. And so here you are in the hanged man energy, just kind of looking at the healing, losing hope, wondering if it's going to happen. But you're, you're, it's like the, the devil energy along with the tower tells me that you held the tower up for a very long time because you were kind of too stubborn to move forward. Now you are a mutable sign, which means that you're not fixed, but and but you are more um, you are a little more um, um, what's the word flexible than the fixed signs, but not by much. I'm just saying, don't clap for yourself just yet, Sag. <laughs> Yeah, you're a little bit muted means you're a little bit more flexible, not necessarily the whole way flexible. But this feels like this feels like something that you have decided that it's like a it's a right fight is what it is. Yep, you want to be right. And the only way that you can be right is if the other person admits that they're wrong. And so here we stand, the devil energy, looking at the healing, losing hope that things are going to um, work out because we have the Knight of Swords, which is in the reverse, not going anywhere not taking action, not saying anything. 
and um, I feel as though that's why the tower is here to shake things up. You're hermiting, you're by yourself. You're by yourself in this hanged man energy. In your Piscean energy, you could have Pisces in your chart, don't have to, but we do also have Virgo here now. I feel as though um, it could be someone that someone that you're passionate about, a situation that you're passionate about. It could be a job. Um, for some of you, I feel as though that you felt that the relationship or the job or the place you were living was toxic. And so you go into the think tank. You want to heal it because we do have, we have you here, Sagittarius, right? In temperance, wanting to make it work, waiting for the moment of alchemy. Um, I feel as though the universe is telling you to move forward as you sit here and look at the star, that there is healing to be had here, but you're beginning to lose hope because you're not the one who's going to move first. Yeah. Which is too bad because that is, that's some... Um, Shadow work is what that is. Yeah. Looking down deep, wondering why you got to be the right fighter. Why you got to be the one that's right. And why you think that they got to admit that they were wrong. I feel like this person, you had passion for them, whether they're feminine or masculine. It could be um, a love relationship. Could be, could be you looking over the situation saying, look, we can do this again. We can reopen the doors. We don't have to be this way. Could be someone who has fire in their chart also. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Doesn't have to be. But I feel like the, the Ace of Wands tells me it's the beginning of something that you're passionate about. Something that you've been thinking about for a while. You've been looking at the healing while you're hermiting by yourself. But I still think that the Four of Pentacles tells me you're not sharing. And the Knight of Swords in the reverse tells me you're not going anywhere. The Two of Swords is there saying you've made the decision that you want to be happy, but you're not taking any action here. You want to reopen it, but we're connected to the Hanged Man here, which means you're still trying to look at it at every possible way you can to see if it was their fault. And that's what's holding you back. No communication or slow communication. I feel like this whole thing's been a burden. The ace and the eight, that's nine wands. That's the point at which you can put the burdens down. So it's been silent. There's been no communication between you and another person. You wonder what they're doing. You want to drop the burdens. Eight and two is ten. That's ten wands, right? Which is putting down putting down the fire, putting down whatever words were exchanged, whatever it was, you can put it down and not carry it around as a burden any longer. I feel like you're at, at the crossroads, but I feel like the person sitting at the Two of Wands is looking at the Four of Pentacles saying, I'm not ready to share. I'm not ready to share and I'm not ready to say anything yet. I'm not ready to communicate. Eight of Wands in the reverse is I'm just not ready to communicate yet. So, you sit in the Virgo energy, going over the details, over and over, recalling conversation, recalling texts. And as you sit in the hanged man energy, you're losing hope. It's a star in the reverse. cups in in the future so i feel as though with the six of wands here first of all that we do have um either you or someone else who uh, people look up to um people speak well of i feel like this person felt like home to you um you you know this person or you've the six of wands is about coming through the war coming through the fight and going back home and this particular depiction here shows me that somebody here might be in the public eye. Could very well be. But I feel as though there is victory here. If you want it, you can have it. But understand, if you're playing the right fight, it's not going to work. So whether this is romantic or platonic or whatever it is, um, if you're the right fighter, 
um, and you're the one that it's, is expecting someone else to 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 say they were wrong in order to invite your back into your in in order to invite them back into your life. Just know that that's a bunch of shadow work that needs to be done. The Eight of Cups is the disconnection emotionally. Yeah, I'm not moving. I've made I've made the decision that I want to be happy, but I'm not moving on it. No, nope. I'm not telling anybody about it. I'm not sharing it with anyone or any. I, I'm not ready to to share. Um, I feel like you want to drop these burdens here, but you're not you're not ready to um, you're not ready with the forgiveness. Star in the reverse. You're not ready to forgive. And the forgiveness isn't for them. The forgiveness is for you. To let yourself off the hook. So we've got the Seven of Cups. We've got the King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups is feeling overwhelmed, not knowing what decision to make. I feel like you've decided you want to be happy, but you haven't decided to make a decision on this emotional level yet. That you are, um, I feel, uh, burying your head in work, probably. Um, working on your pentacles, because that's where you think your happiness is going to be. That's fine. I'll just keep my head down and I'll work then. But the new cycle is about to open. And if you want it, you have to transform. The death is in the reverse, which tells me that there is a transformation that is incomplete here. And if you want the cycle to reopen again, if you want the chapter to reopen again, or have a brand new chapter with this person, right? Um, we have the, the Fool and we have um, the Ace of Wands. This person could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. They could be a Scorpio. Um, they could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel as though that um, the death showing up in the reverse is telling me that you are resisting change. You're resisting the shadow work. You're resisting the transformation. You're resisting change. And if you open a new chapter and you're still resisting change and not willing to change, nothing changes. Yeah. If you're not willing to, to, um, if you're not willing to change, then what you're always going to get what you always got. If you don't want to get what you always got, then you got to change it. Yeah. You got to make change. And that's what the tower is here for. But the two of cups, it could, for some of you be a romantic connection that we're talking about. This could be someone that you've had an argument with that you're connected to romantically, and this person is not speaking with you. Um, yeah, it, it feels like you want someone else to admit that they're wrong before you're going to carry forward, but really understand what you're doing is this, and this is about you. It's not about anybody else. What you're doing is this, is you're holding off your own transformation. You are holding off by not doing your shadow work and not and not having this in the upright, ending whatever it was that, that began, so you can begin a new new chapter again with this person, or at least by yourself, um, and being happy. Because I can see that you want to be happy, Ten of Cups is here, but really the healing has to come into play. I feel like you and this person are very passionate about each other, and um, that there is an attraction here. If this is uh, someone who is who you're in love with or is in love with you, if this is an attraction, this person really is attracted to you, but this person isn't isn't about the game. No, they're not about the you have to admit you're wrong before we can move forward stuff. They're just not about it. And whether you want it or not, it's up to you. So we have um, the, um, the tower. The tower could be what came along and shook you down and made you single. Um, I feel like if, if that's not it for you, I feel as though um, you are dealing with the tower on your own in your individual energy. Yeah, your pentacles are good. You're looking good, smelling good. But I feel like you're going through a tower all by yourself. Um, and it's tough. It's really tough because the devil's here, which makes it extra hard. Yeah, it's trying, the devil energy is, is trying you, trying your patience. And even though temperance is here, um, I feel as though it's hard for you to heal because, yeah, that you've decided that you're going with a no regrets attitude. And if this person doesn't, doesn't come to you and tell you that they were wrong, it's just going to be what it is. So, yeah, I feel like the tower comes here because there's um, uh, an end of a cycle 
here, a painful cycle. There were sharp words, some things were said, and I feel like it's taking a while to bring this back together again. We've got the, the Knight of Pentacles here. So I feel like after a cycle changes, that you, it's taking some time. Gosh, and there's another tower. So I feel that the universe is trying to get you back on a path, trying to teach you a lesson, get you back on a path, giving you great change, Mm, so there's no more silence because you love this person regardless of whether you're connected to them in a romantic way or not you love this person this person could have Scorpio Pisces or Cancer in their chart they don't have to but I feel as though it's a passionate love that you have for this person and make no mistake about it like it, it can be passionate love and sense of romance but it doesn't have to be you can passionately love someone in a platonic way as well yeah but right now it's silent this is the person that you want that you want to um, connect with again. I feel like you you want to connect with them. You want to have a new cycle open, but I don't think you're willing to take the action to do the work. So it's up to you. This person could have offered you a cup, but you decided no, or maybe it was vice versa. They offered either they offered you a cup or you offered them a cup. Either way, I feel like everything here is at a particular stalemate or standstill until you've done the work that you need to do to realize that sometimes um, sometimes it's, it's worth it to keep a connection or a love connection or a relationship together. Maybe you've broken apart and you've come back together again a few times and you've decided that you're not going to do that anymore. Um, but nonetheless, the universe is throwing towers at you now. It could be um, emotional towers. Things are coming to an end. You're going through a hard time. And I feel like you're alone because we have the hanged man energy and we have the, um, the, the hermit. So I feel like that you're really sort of spiritually stuck in the mud. That's what it feels like. That you are by yourself. You can't get the healing and you can't get out of this hanged man energy. It's time for you to figure it out or you can't move forward and you're not going to get this new cycle to open if you don't. Love is in the bottom of the deck. We've got uh, two of cups and we have the king. Could be someone who is very stoic on the surface, someone who is very kind and loving and beautiful underneath, but you gotta, you got to punch past the surface first because that's who the king of cups is. Very emotionally intelligent, emotionally aware, and emotionally available, but you got to punch past that. you gotta, you got to step past that, that tough exterior because that's who Scorpio is. Tough exterior, right? But you're feeling defensive about it. The thing is, is that you really have love for this person. Yeah, but you're really um, in your head about it. Yeah, you're not really sure what to do. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Otherwise, we're going to be reading here forever. I'm going to go for now. Sagittarius, if you're interested in a private read, please look below. There is a yellow dot. You can follow that over to Wizio, where my readings begin at $40. I'm going to go for now, my Saggy sisters and brothers. I'm out. Love you guys. Bye.